So as you guys have 100% seen by now, Drickus Duplessis has made Israel Adesanya cry at a press conference. I think it's about time, and a lot of people in the MMA community has been saying this, I think it's, a lot, it's about time that we take a look at this guy and say, is he one of the greatest trash talkers of all time? We're going to be taking a look at a couple viral clips, and then we're going to take a look at what fans are saying about it over on X to kind of get a gauge on how people feel about this. As always, guys, I would love to know what you think about it down below afterwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with many YouTube channels. Let's take a look over at MMA Orbit because they posted a couple viral clips, and this is where it really, really all started for Drickus Duplessis. Um, when did I become the hot dog? You know, it's, it's a, it's a pick'em. It's very... Nobody said anything oh. about dogs, bro. Chill out. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> and all oh, Izzy's just speechless. That's the worst part about it, right? He just oh, yep, nothing, nothing. He just shakes his head. He's at nothing, absolutely nothing for that. But it gets even worse because Israel Adesanya has also cried at that same press conference. There was a couple really good moments, but this is the biggie over I, here. He, he touched the subject there because I, I do this for my family. I do this for the people I love, and I'll, I'll fight for you forever. I swear to God. Um, watch this. I'm a, look. And of course, I'm, the trash talk was obviously getting to Israel Adesanya. He had no response for pretty much anything that Drickus Duplessis was saying. I'm a fucking human being. I am a man. I can cry and whoop your ass at the same time. I don't think that looks good. You can't say I can cry and whoop your ass at the same time because even if he does whip Drickus' ass, like that's not going to make for a good clip. <laughs> you know, like, even, no matter what happens for this fight result, like, it's not going to be like, oh my god, Israel Asadia cried and whooped Drickus Duplessis. What an awesome guy. Like, I don't know, it's not manly. Um, <laughs> I feel the love from the crowd. First time I fought here, 2 2 1. That was February 2018. That was me making my dream come true. Sunday, and, I'm oh, I, he, it's crazy, man. He's got the tears in his eyes. Eyes, you can see it. I don't have we ever seen anybody cry at a press conference. Like we see people like get bonuses and like happy cry and stuff, but like somebody gets so caught up in their emotions here that they're crying about it. I'm gonna fucking kill your dreams, bitch. I wanna fucking kill your dreams. Like that's that's the problem. Like it's not threatening. Like Drickus is smile, dude. <laughs> like it's not threatening at all. So he was crying at me and said I'm gonna kill you. Like I would like that's not intimidating. And then oh it makes it even worse that he did this though. Like the <laughs> Like, oh my god, that's a bad look for Israel Adesanya. But let's take a look at what a bunch of top replies from different accounts are saying. But Drickus Duplessis is gaslighting Israel Adesanya. <laughs> like, you guys gotta check this out, man, because obviously Drickus Duplessis or Israel Adesanya brought up the screenshots with Drickus Duplessis, and now Drickus Duplessis posted this and said, I won the screenshot game. Dude, this guy has such underrated trash talk. It's actually crazy, but that's not even close to being it. Let's take a look at what a couple of other people are saying. Jenkins Duplessis has one more <laughs> gaslighting tweet. Come on, guys. Stop crying at a press conference. It's not that serious. It's crazy. Crazy. Like, the level of gaslighting is insane, man. It's so funny to me. It's so funny. Now let's actually take a look at some replies. And it's not just... Drinkus <laughs> Duplessis trolling is around Asadia. Elon Rachmanov had this to say, bros on a two make opponent cry streak. Like, like yeah, he made Sean Strickland cry and Israel Asadia cry. It makes sense for Israel Asadia to cry. Like, quite frankly, I'm not I'm not surprised. Or I mean, it's surprising that we haven't seen Israel Asadia cry yet. But Sean Strickland crying? Like, I know, like, it makes sense now that he's all up in his emotions all the time. But, dude, that's crazy. Could you imagine if no matter who he fights next, Drinkus Duplessis makes the dude cry? Like, that's some next level gaslighting over there. Let's continue on to 6R6 Carlin. DDP turned to UFC press conferences into Dr. Phil episodes for his opponents. Yeah, like, it's, you know what's funny is, it's not like that crazy, the things that he's saying, but somehow he just gets this insane reaction from people. It's so funny. I love it. Super fan of this to say, can't believe the dog comment got him like this. It's so true because Sean Strickland said the same things about a dog. Like, no, I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but he's like, oh my god, talk to me, <laughs> the guy beating off his dog, like, he was straight up talking about this, and Drinkus Duplessis said, underdog, there's no dogs in here, like, it wasn't the same level, I think Sean Strickland actually, like, looking at it from an outside perspective, if you gave somebody the two quotes, you would think that Sean Strickland would have been able to get his under Israel Adesanya's skin more, but it just didn't happen, man, it's crazy, I wonder if I'll, like, because Israel Adesanya is losing fans, and has been losing fans, especially since his last loss. I wonder if all of that's really, really getting to him. We know he's an emotional guy, but 
We also have the 2-0 undefeated. I've been seeing this everywhere. Sean Strickland crying. Israel Adesanya crying. That's actually insane, dude. That's actually insane. Is there another picture over here? Okay, no, no. It's just a screenshot over here. But let's continue on. Owen had this to say, the photo of you sleeping on Sunday is going to hit so hard. The reason that I want to include this one is because you also see quite a few of replies like this to Drickus Duplessis. But again, like, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's not going to look sick. Like the Alex Pereira thing, knocking him out and going like with the bow. That's awesome. Israel Adesanya walked out on business like he was looking real good. Crying before a press conference and then finishing somebody won't have that same effect. It just won't. Like, I think Adesanya is a little bit, not necessarily in a lose-lose because obviously winning the fight's an amazing thing, but he's not going to come out of this looking awesome. This screenshot is going to live on forever. And in, pr in press conferences to come, you know that they're going to be bringing up, oh, Israel Adesanya, don't cry again. Dolby had this to say, real talk is he has to win tomorrow, losing to a guy who made you cry at the presser. There's no coming back from that. I don't even know if there's any coming back from it in general, but it's totally right. Like, if he loses, this is huge. I can't believe what a huge gaslighter Jerkus Duplessis is. It's so funny to me. It's so funny. I, I it, He's up there for some of the best trash talkers. Like, who is actually, uh, let alone a two-fight cry streak? How many people have gotten one person to cry at a press conference? I can't even think of a time that it's happened. I can only think of a handful of, like, happy cries. And even then, like, like that's not even comparable to what Israel Adesanya. Like, he had Israel Adesanya doing this. <sighs> like... That's crazy. It's not like a couple tears were here. He's emotional. He's doing <laughs> like unbelievable, unbelievable. And this is bad for Israel Adesanya, man, because I was a little bit, I, if you've been following the channel, you might know that I am been 50, 50 on this fight. I have no clue who's going to win, but we all know that if somebody fights with this kind of level of emotion, if anybody's involved in martial arts, the first thing that you know is you do not fight with your emotions. And Israel Adesanya is crying. Like how much more in your emotions can you get? Is he going to come out angry trying to kill uh, kill Drickus Duplessis? Is he not going to fight technical? I don't think that's going to happen, but it's not good to fight with your emotions that bad. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. I can't wait for this fight. I can't wait to see it. That's going to live on forever. Bad, bad look by Israel Asanya. Dub you Drickus Duplessis, though, because he is on and make opponent cry two fights in a row streak. I can't wait to see if there's a third one, guys. Let me know what you thought about everything down below. Thank you for watching. Check out this tier list video if you have not seen it over on the channel yet. Thank you for being here, guys. Take care.